All right, this is my buddy and my mechanic, Matt, from New Market, Virginia. Tell us about the A model you got here. This uh, this was my wife's, back there, grandfather's truck. Uh, bought it brand new in 79. Uh, drove it all over the country, Mexico, Canada, both. Uh, so he uh, retired from the over-the-road trucking in late 90s and been sitting since then until up till a couple weeks ago. Excited to be able to put it back together and, and have it on the road again. So what do you do every day? Uh, so I got a shop in Newmarket, um, work in the shop and do road service, uh, so all up and down 81. So, so tell us a little bit more history about the truck, what made you decide to put it back together and why did you want to get it done just for nationals? Always kind of liked the truck. Um, I say being being in the family for 42 years is kind of cool. You don't uh, you don't see that anymore. Um, I said knowing the the history of it since it was new just kind of adds another touch to it. Now I'm sure that you rode in the truck when you were young. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. So that probably I bet that was cool when y'all got it back together and y'all yeah, all yeah. come in with it. But yeah. Tell us about what you had to do with the, that double breasted Yamaha right there. Uh, <laughs> that came out of a another truck i said this one's a 475 horse 8 v92 uh end up pulling down the whole right side of it and uh rebuilding it to get it back on the road and running um definitely made for a couple busy weeks for me <laughs> in between working on everybody's truck and my truck and that's right you know getting it ready for the show it worked on that thing for how long and he worked on the kenworth when i left so that's right well yeah man this thing is cool man i'm glad y'all got it done brought it yeah. in nationals what makes you well, how can I put it? You always come to all the ATHS shows because you're in our yep. chapter and everything. So, how do you? What, what do you like about the ATHS? Uh, I say a lot of it's the people. I say a lot of great people, great, uh, great stories that that get told at the shows and stuff. And I said just a lot of a lot of cool trucks, a lot of history that goes along with them. Um, I said it's trucking's what I've been around for the past 15, 20 years, and it, it it's cool to learn more about it yep. every day. So yeah, man, glad we all got to come out. Glad you got it done time. It's mm -hmm. a sweet truck. Looking yeah. forward to see what else you do with it. Now, Absolutely. Megan, I was teasing about you having to stay up there. <laughs> Would you like to come down here in front of the tire and oh, say yeah. a couple of things about sure, this truck? Sure, Going down. Because <laughs> that's the... I can tell she is, she's not bass for one bit, is she? <laughs> not at not all. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, basically, I, <laughs> since I was born, I practically grew up in this truck. Um, the transmission has 1.4, at least, maybe more miles on it. Maybe. Original transmission. Uh, I don't think we had to do anything to that transmission at all. It's original, original kingpins, kingpins, everything. And so tell me some stories from, uh, from that you, as, as far back as you can uh -huh. remember about riding in this truck. Oh, perfect. Um, I actually have a picture from a, um, parade, 4th of July parade in Newmarket, going through Newmarket, um, in my photo book of me sitting in the passenger seat on my aunt's lap 30 years ago. And we're actually going to recreate that picture today. Oh, awesome. Yep. So I've uh, gone, I think the furthest I've gone with him in this truck is up to New York and back. Um, the really cool, my favorite thing about this truck, the favorite story I have is that my grandfather hauled in those beams, the steel beams, to New York City to put the World Trade Centers together. That is, that is by far the coolest thing that the stories that he has told me is that he was involved in building the World Trade Centers with this truck. So. And you know, you hear a lot of history of trucks, but to see the husband and wife fix the truck back up and bring it back out with the family. That's cool. You don't really see that much. Yeah. And that's that's probably my favorite part about the truck. I love the truck because, I mean, who doesn't love a Detroit powered A model? That's right. So, but yeah, man, I, I appreciate y'all and, and bringing it'll, it out. My family, always been in my family, will always be in my family. And that little girl right there, come here, baby. She keeps telling me this will be her truck, that will be her truck, and she will run daddy's business one day. Yep. So proud of this little girl. <laughs> well, I appreciate y'all, and we'll see you at the next antique show somewhere in the valley. Definitely. That sounds good to me. Now, before we sign off, can we hear this thing fire up? Is that possible? Absolutely. <laughs>
<laughs> and this is Lydia and Lila. Yeah, go ahead.